this is a video I wanted to shoot like a long long time and now finally is a day it's called the 10 best albergues of the whole Camino so we are on Puerto de Valencia the Valencian port so welcome to Valencia <laughs> now so let's begin with the best 10 albergues of whole Camino number 10 albergue parroquial Santa Maria in Carrion de los Condes that was like uh, you know um, religious uh, albergue it was uh, it was handled by uh, nuns and you know I remember a very very nice nun who received us actually she was waiting for me my mother she arrived sooner and she would book for me a place which is not possible in this kind of uh, albergues you cannot book places you know you just arrive and get the bed but in this case uh, she would wait for me so it was very nice uh, to you know have a bed for that day and also we we got like um, we were invited to a communal uh, dinner there was a lady uh, who was cooking a vegetable soup and she would share with us so it was very very nice and warm environment there and also they do uh, singing every day at 6 o'clock I believe 6 30 I'm not sure they would gather together with all the pilgrims and every pilgrim from different country would have to sing a song from their country and by the way I was translating the whole uh, kind of meeting uh, you know because they knew I'm speaking Spanish and English so I was uh, translating to English mm. it was so embarrassing but yeah I did it I mean I I'm, I was glad that I can be useful so it was kind of cool yeah I remember that albergue very much and and thank you all of you guys uh, all of you nuns from um, from Santa Maria I would like to really thank you for ev all the love you, you give to all, all of us all of the pilgrims that's very nice of you Albergue number 9 La Credencial in Sarria that one is very nice I have to say when you arrive there it's new kind of new albergue and I selected it because of Jenny she was very nice to us I went there with my uh, transgender friend Nova and she received her very well she re received both of us very well you know after we uh, we came back uh, we realized that she actually knew, knew Nova you know Nova is like a famous uh, person here in Spain and and I didn't know I, I met her on my way and I and I just treat her like um, a friend you know and, and so uh, she knew and I, do, I didn't know I didn't know that she knew and we didn't know either but uh, yeah so I don't know if it was because Noah is, was famous or, or she just treated us well because she's a good person you know so um, yeah thank you very much Jenny for all that kind love you you put into us you know we were very lucky there was not very much people there so we had the whole room for us and we got like this uh, amazing martinis and we would enjoy the, the you know the showers with the martini it was so beautiful so like you know flow flowing it was just a flowing day I would say you know everything was okay everything was perfect that day and there was um, this guy Fernando he will he would have uh, ache in his, in his feet there was like two rooms so we got one room for us with maybe 40 beds and there was another room with less beds for for maybe there were two or three guys sleeping so they were all together and me and Nova were in this larger room so we could have uh, you know a kind of private time and it was it was nice 
So we there is actually videos uh, from that albergue. I would put it uh, over there somewhere. Will appear a uh, bubble, so you can check those videos out. Number number eight, El Cerval y la Luna. It's a vegetarian albergue. You know, it it this is this one is located in Pieros, just after Cacabelos. Uh, it was actually my birthday, so I got this vegetarian albergue for my birthday and there was this lady her name is Mar and she would show me the whole house you know I study architecture and and she would tell me like the historical overview and the and the construction and you know all the layers of that house and how old this house is and what how they uh, redo all the structure and, and walls and, and installations and it was really really I mean I felt so blessed I have this tour just for me of the day of my birthday thank you very much Mar you did it for me I mean I really appreciate it um, so El Cerval y la Luna is beautiful space and uh, there is also another guy um, I would really like to thank you all of you you are amazing and I really recommend this one albergue number seven Lamas albergue Lamas in uh, Pradela this one is very special and I think you should know about it you should go there I mean you know uh, Villa Franca del Bierzo there are like two caminos one is on left following the main road it's very noisy and very very unpleasant uh, way and then you have the right uh, option which is harder you have to climb really steep hill but then you are in the middle of the um, of the nature you are uh, in much more pleasant space uh, you see the whole Villa Franca from above and, and it's very very recommendable to go that, that way you know but uh, unfortunately that that kind of um, that um, segment is not recognized as an official Camino which makes it harder for the albergue I'm going to, to talk about this albergue is um, it's uh, familiar, it's, uh, it, there is a family, Miguel and Anna, uh, they own the, the albergue, they made it beside their house, so the environment is very friendly, familiar, there are cats and, and uh, hens and you know, chicken, and, and it's very special, special place to be. I really recommend you to, to go there. Actually, Miguel made the whole albergue by himself and, and you know, the, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's new, brand new and you know, so I really recommend you to, to go there. Actually, in my case, it saved my life because I was uh, really exhausted that day, it was very hot, hot day and I would um, suffer, I had to like this was my bottle so I would have it full but uh, the last two, two kilometers I would have no water and there was no fontaine, fontaines on the way you would have no possibility to get water so this albergue saved my life and now they want to close it because the stupid rule of Via Franca del Bierzo that that they don't recognize uh, the uh, this Camino as the official one. They don't want to put the sign uh, to show better that there is this way on the right side, the harder way, which is much more nicer. And you know, I, I think it should be recognized as uh, the official one. And the one beside the road should be not the official one. That's my point. So, albergue number six, Al Puntido in Ontanas. It's, a, a, it's again, it's a private albergue, but it's a family who owns that. So again, it's very familiar environment there. You will be received by 
a lady and gentleman and they would cook with all their heart and they would you know serve you everything you need you can get it there I uh, actually, actually I remember that one also because of friends I made there so yeah I mean I think that one is was really beautiful beautiful albergue I, I really recommend it uh, albergue number five albergue municipal convento de las carvajalas in leon leon this one is amazing i mean there is uh, one guy this italian uh, guy called francesco who would absolutely help me with everything uh, my mother she she needed a new shoes so he would uh, find shoes for her and actually it was her size so it, we were really lucky you know it's very common pilgrims leave stuff behind them and they forget stuff on albergues or they would just le left them there because they would not uh, like to carry more weight or whatever so albergues uh, have uh, stuff from uh, you know uh, other pilgrims and uh, this Francesco would show us all the things they would have so I could choose like a new t-shirt and you know a new hat like, I think this hat I have it from there so the helicopter over there so I think I, I would get this one from there or not I, I'm not sure so yeah uh, very very kind environment again uh, beautiful space uh, we would also like uh, go to uh, so we would also go to this church to pray for the pilgrims it was the first and last one I went but I wanted to see how it is the, the you know the praying for the pilgrims so yeah it was quite nice i was a translator again <laughs> uh, to you know i was helping pilgrims to 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 translate from spanish to english albergue number four el albergue municipal de logroño logroño is uh, is the city you know logroño of course everyone knows logroño if you were doing camino de santiago you must know logroño Logroño is uh, El Albergue of Logroño. This one actually was the best ever. I mean, Paco was the guy who cared about us so much. You know, we would uh, we would wash our stuff and, and uh, hang it on, uh, outside, and it would rain. Suddenly, it would rain. It would be in the city, and I was like calling Paco. Oh my God! The, the stuff everything will, will get wet and he said oh I already took care of it you know I put it inside so I was really uh, yeah I mean everything I, I, I came with a very very intense feet pain and he would offer himself to to you know um, to help me so we would uh, uh, get the bucket and ice and and I had to put uh, my feet in the ice so uh, yeah I was very very like feeling very well attended you know what I mean I got just what I needed at that time it was amazing I was really blessed and also we got like sticks from him like we would uh, not have sticks before and he gave us sticks for walking so yeah it was beautiful I mean it's this heart he has you know for all pilgrims uh, I think this is what uh, what this albergue makes amazing so I definitely re uh, recommend it and also there, there is like a tower where storks have their houses so you would see storks you would see storks like all over <laughs> watch me how I achieve my video and it's really getting noisy Okay, this is a helicopter and a motor ride and something else. Can I shoot please? Okay. Albergue number three, La Estación. 
Town in Santiago de Compostela. Wow, this is the most amazing albergue of the whole Camino, I would say. It's number three, yes, but I think it's the number one because there, this guy, Miguel, you know, Ga Galician people, they, they are used to be like colder than other like um, Spanish from south. It's much warmer and open, open, um, open heart and open talking and whatever. And Galician people are more colder, like the Germans, you know. But this one, I mean, he would never smile, but he would be so, so good. Like he would not mind to share food, to, to you know, help you with everything you can imagine. This people, I mean, this person was just an angel. He would say, oh, I made the pasta, eat it, you know, and we would have, uh, we would have dinner for free. Then uh, we would put a, a washing machine, we would put a washing machine about maybe 10, 10, 30 in the night. We had to wash our stuff and he let us, he allowed us to wash them. Uh, next day I had to, I had to uh, download photos my pictures you know and I had to do it because uh, otherwise I, I wouldn't be able to uh, to shoot the experience from uh, Plaza de Obrero I think it's called the main plaza in uh, Santiago de Compostela you know I, I had to empty my phone otherwise I wouldn't be able to shoot all the experience uh, of arriving to the main square in Santiago and this guy allowed me to use his computer you know usually albergues some some of them they have computers but you have to put like one hour per 20 minutes and they used to be very slow and so uh, in this case he allowed me to use his computer, no charge at all, you know, and super fast. And I was like, wow, wow, you allow me to use your computer, like your working computer, you know, from the reception room. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing how some people are so, so, you know, they have big heart and they, help you with what you just need they help you and that's what what what's the most beautiful thing in this albergue is where you really find uh, what you need so la estación is number three but i would definitely put it in number one albergue number two the albergue municipal in nájera wow we just arrived in um, in a day where Nahra would be like in uh, this uh, fiesta. It's like um, a party day. Uh, they would uh, celebrate uh, some uh, wine festival or something. And so the um, the guy who would he would arrive like super happy because the because he was all partying, you know, and clubbing. <laughs> And he was so, so nice. He would hug everyone uh, and he would be so nice to us. And, and actually everyone would like, you know, uh, they were like, uh, people would like, you know, put their backpacks as a queue and, 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 and then they would say, oh, the backpacks are the queue. And then other people would say, but that's your rule, not my, not our rule, you know. And so people would fight like who was the first one and the albergue would open at 3 and people were already waiting there and you know in this kind of albergues you don't you can't book place you, you just arrive and then whoever arrives this those have like the bag and so we were joking around like how some people is really fighting for the bed and some people just they don't care and I cannot believe, but my mom, you know, my mom, well, she was the first one and she booked for me and I was like the one who was doing the queue and then I arrived and then uh, she would, uh, the lady uh, who, who received us, she 
she would say, what are you doing here? Your mom already booked the place and you have bed there. What are you doing? The, why are you doing the queue? You know, and I was like, you know, I wanted to be honest and blah, blah, blah. And later on, we would have this yoga class. So, and Nakhara definitely is on my list. It's a beautiful place. And I got my balloon there, you know, my first Camino balloon. Yeah, it was in Najera. And there, there my idea of... Actually, it was not my idea. It was my idea of Idaho, my best Camino friend from South Korea. That I should, like, be called Balloon Girl and, you know, travel around the world with my balloon and do YouTube videos. <laughs> And this idea born in Najera, in this Alberti. So I just wanted to, to say why it's so important for me to put it on this list. And number one, number one, El Puerto, Alberti El Puerto in Alto de Pollo. Woo! It was this storm and it was, uh, you know, foggy and raining and, and we would arrive totally soaked, like my feet were soaked and, and you know, we had to dry them and this guy, um, his name is uh, Jose Antonio Iglesia Ferreiro, Jose Antonio was so so nice to us he would put uh, you know uh, he would uh, light the, the fireplace and we would we could uh, put our uh, clothes and, and um, boots around the fireplace in order to in order to dry them and and also it was very he was very kind he would allow me to you know, to put something in microwave, there is no cuisine we could use, but he allowed me to use his microwave. He would allow me to, you know, he, he would give me hot water for my coffee, and he would never, he would not mind like I'm using my own coffee to make my own coffee, so I'm not going, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not uh, profitable for him, you know, he didn't mind. He just gave me the fucking hot water. What's what's wrong? You know, pilgrims need need things like this. You know, pilgrims are not people who who makes the business to the albergues. That's the difference between the private and the municipal. This one was private, but it was really like municipal. And sometimes the municipal is shit, you know, you never know. But you know, to be pilgrim is to, to get like the first help in a way. And not, all, not only uh, physical, but also emotional. You arrive very exhausted and you need someone who really help you, you know, and and this guy, Jose Antonio, would help me, help us in everything. He was such a, such a big heart. And that's why is for me, number one in, in my list of top 10 of the whole, uh, of the whole Camino. Top 10 albergues of the whole Camino. I want to say, uh, I want to include uh, some other uh, albergues which I think they should be on the list. I would like to mention La Casa del Peregrino in El Acebo, uh, Manuel in Puerto Marín, uh, Villa Mayor uh, Oasis Trails in Villa Mayor de Monjardín. It's uh, like a Dutch community who, who have it. Very nice. Albergue in Artieda, Albergue in Cuesta, Albergue eh, Pereiro in Melide, and also one very special. John, I know you are looking, you are watching this video. This is for you. The Albergue in Tardajos. I have it here. Actually, this is this is. Uh, this is kind of uh, 
Albergue Interlajos, you know, I found this this uh, earring when I was talking to you on the floor. It was amazing. I just lost my earring. Like I would have normal this one, and I would be like two, three days without earring, and then suddenly on the floor I found this one, and it's exactly like this one, but it has like a cross. So I would. It was very, very special. It was magical. The moment in Tardajos was magical. And also, you allow me to use your cuisine. This, this, um, this uh, albergue in Tardajos, as John says, it's very basic, but it's very clean. So they really take care of the clean, cleanliness. But it's not like it has no cuisine. It has, you know, it's very basic. It's just bed and shower and you know very small also but it's what do you need I mean you don't need much more you know as a pilgrim you learn how to be humble and how to how to not need that much for being happy everything you need is just a bed and a shower and perhaps hot water for your hot tea or coffee that's it if you if you need to uh, to have a dinner then you go somewhere or you go to the supermarket and buy something that was my way I would never go like to have a dinner I mean sometimes yes but not every day most of the times I would just go to the supermarket and buy something you know so, so I think I'm not sure why this noise is going What's, what's happening here? Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe. Uh, for me, it's very important to get subscribers. Uh, I wish I would arrive to 1,000. So that allows me to, uh, you know, put the external links to the videos. And you know, it's just more freedom to to my. Um, Thank you very much. I give you a huge hug, a Pellegrino hug. Have a nice day. Bye.